All right. Um, you know, I thought today was a, a good work day. You know, a lot of situations we tried to, you know, with not having a scrimmage here this last week, we tried to get a little bit more teamwork uh, you know, throughout the course of practice. Um, but still having the balance of the, of the opportunities to grow fundamentally, individual, you know, some of the group. Uh, but uh, you know, I think it's it's good to see guys having to uh, you know, go out there, communicate, work to execute. Uh, you know, we've had some some new guys getting opportunities, uh, you know, so you know, it's, all, it's it's always good to see them work to grow. Um, but I thought all in all, it was a uh, it was a good day. I thought the offense started off, you know, had some good explosive plays. Um, you know, really good in a, in a couple of, uh, of the, the earlier situations. I thought the defense responded really well uh, there in the back part of practice. Uh, you know, it's some, some things communication-wise we got to continue to get better at. Um, you know, just as we're as we're you know, still trying to install and get the last these last few things uh, before we get into summer for, for these guys to understand what they need to work on. So still pushing installation, uh, but I thought it was good. Uh, just a, a, a little update, you know, um, you know, for for the rest of this week and obviously for you know, which will wrap up spring. Uh, you know, uh, Brock and Luke will actually both be unavailable, so they are dealing with um, your minor minor uh, little injuries that. Uh, you know, it's not going to affect anything for them, even in the summer. You know, but it's just I thought we'd get Brock back by this week, uh, but it's looking like it's going to you know, probably get it going to going to next week, and it's unfortunately a timeline. So both those guys will be unavailable. Uh, it's a good opportunity for Trevor Jackson. You, know, he's been getting you know the, the two reps. Uh, you know, here the last couple of days. Um, you know, still learning a lot. So he's uh, you know it's uh, it's definitely a lot being thrown at him. You know, just with with everyone, but I thought he's done some good things. Uh, a great opportunity for him to, to get some experience and, and work and get better. I thought, you know, DJ, uh, he's continuing to grow. You know, I like I like his, his understanding. There's you know, still some still some things that you know he's going to continue to improve upon just with more reps. Uh, but you know, I thought he you know, did some good things. I thought Malik Benson was a you know, looked great today. You know, had a lot of big plays. Um, you know, and you know, I thought the defense you know, really flew around there uh, late. You've seen guys making plays on the ball, so you know, really encourage you on that. Those big plays in passing games, DJ Hips more comfortable with that Yeah, I think it's all it's always timing, rhythm, you know, understanding, and especially it's you know some of the intricacies within the uh, you know this offense and where we want to try to go with the ball, what's the progression, what's the read, um, you know, kind of helping him grow through that and uh, you know, but he's got he's got a great arm, he's got great ability, you know. I mean I'm I'm excited about what I've seen from him, but you know, we gotta Continue to push, and I'm coaching him hard to uh, uh, to understand, you know, just how good you know he is capable of being. Just the same way as you know these these other you know younger quarterbacks, you know they every day step on this field, you get opportunity to go get better, and you know, I really like the mindset of that room. How excited were you about getting Trevor? Um, it's kind of a late process. For him. Yeah, no, I mean he's a, he's somebody that we've known, uh, you know, through through the recruiting process, and you know we had. Uh, uh, you know, a couple of opportunities, a couple of things that he looked at, um, you know. But I'll, I'll say one thing I said about Trevor is, you know, even early in the in, in the journey, you know, we had Luke committed you know, pretty early, and we were very open and transparent of what that was going to look like on our end. Uh, and all Trevor said, Coach, that was one opportunity to compete. And that's it, and, you know. And uh, you know, as his path and of of uh, uh, you know the next really two years, you know, you watch him, you know. You know he grew, he got better, he had, had some opportunities, and then there were some things that were limited. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm definitely excited about having him. Great young man, uh, hard worker. You know, you see the ability that he has to. You talked about Malik today. It seems like he's kind of stepped into a fairly natural leadership role, I guess. What have you seen from him in that aspect? And, and how important is that for a, a group that doesn't have kind of that established guy like that receiver? Well, I mean, we've got, some, we've got some, some great guys in that room that have been here. You know, Ja'Kai Douglas. Uh, you can know, Ken Tron, you know, uh, you know, obviously Darion, you know, the guys that have, that have been a part of this team for a while, so they understand expectation. What I love is Malik is such a great fit for, for this program, and he is, uh, you know, he loves playing football. He loves who he gets to do it with. I mean, he's been a wonderful teammate, wonderful addition. Uh, you guys have helped push and challenge him as well, and uh, you know, but he embraces, he embraces, you know, this, and, you know, just really all of who we are, and that's uh, something that, you know, it's been uh, it's been a lot of fun to watch, and you know he's he's showing he's showing that he can be a go-to guy and somebody that um, you know can play at, at an I think elite level. And so you know, want to see him continue to progress, but you know, I like I like what, the, the path he's on. Will the showcase format be similar to years past, or it will be? It's going to be you know it's not a game. It's I a showcase. It a showcase. I know, but I was making sure that I said.
Um, no, it's uh, it's going to be you know, offense and defense. You know, we're going to we'll, we'll roll through. Um, we kind of modified uh, timing. You know, uh, it will the, the, the main part of uh, you know the scoring will all be in the grand finale, which we're excited about getting a couple past players. Um, you know, you know, part of the uh, the '99 uh, you know, team that was you know, really special. It's going to be it's going to be a lot of fun just to see those guys um, you know coming back you know being a part of it. Um, I know you guys have all seen the you know seen the post, but we got you know Tommy Polly, uh, we got Travis Miner, we got uh, Corey Simon, and then you know Peter Warren. So you know four great great you know Florida State Seminoles, and those guys will be uh, they'll get an opportunity to go and uh, you know, have a little bit of fun there at the end of it. But uh, yeah, we're going to get good work, and you know for the guys that are available, there'll be some that will be limited. Um, but it's a great opportunity to, to go out there and have, have a chance to go get better. Yeah, no, I mean, I think Jackson has a chance to have a great year. You know, I'm really excited about the tight end. I mean, I, I think you know, Kyle showed a lot of really good things last year. Um, you know, I think he's continuing to push. I think Jackson has a chance to be as good as he wants to be. I mean, he's the speed, athletic you know, ability, you know, power, um, physicality. Uh, I mean, he's he's about all the right things. Brian Courtney has taken some major, major steps, and uh, you know, I mean, I think he's an explosive playmaker that can really uh, make an impact. And then, you know, Landon, you know, I think he's got a chance to be really, really good. And he's going to play for us this year. I know not he's on the fast track. I mean, that's, that's something that. That as long as he continues to, to take the steps necessary, I mean, he's got a great future in front of him. Um, and then you'll hopefully get Jarrell back full speed, and uh, you know, he can continue to push. But I like that room, and so uh, definitely excited about where it's going. But Jackson is one of those guys that absolutely are taking huge strides here this spring. In terms of roster management, with the 12 practices in, and now that the transfer portal open, has anything changed in terms of what these guys think you might need to address or how you approach we'll, it? We'll continue to evaluate all things. I mean, you know, it's just. just um, We'll see where we'll see where our roster is you know, here in the, in the next week or so. And, um, you know, we, we understand you know, who we are, what we're about, um, and you know, ultimately, if there's if there is a right situation out there that fits our program, we'll evaluate it and see where the, where, that, where that goes. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's, you know, it's all about us continuing to go get better here this week. All right, thanks.